I would sing to you a while with what little voice 
I may, and tell you of the fire of that awful day when Venezia was alight with a fearful blaze as big as the whole world for the wrath of our Lord. It was the most horrendous roar as Rialto went in flames. No, they cried and swore the fit man and the lame, the rich man and the whores, the poor men and the dames. The folk of every sort begged mercy of our Lord. But many turned their minds to robbery and theft, taking all that they could find till there was nothing left, hiding goods of every kind into any bag or cleft. They kept searching more and more and thanked the goodwill of the Lord. Not Billy Quaking Vincent Zing and mit meine boys in call. Von neue Gäsen men and the hier man wissen soll. Von der Mark in der Mark geht, ich weiß gewiss, dass das ein Mal. Zur Winde in der Schrippe, ihr schützt Sarah. Such an unexpected boon made everyone go mad. One ran circles like a loon with a bucket around his head. But he fell in the lagoon and came out a deal more red and wetter than before, crying, Mercy, oh my lord. Still, he set his mind on filling sacks anew with baubles he could find. He was seen by a non-Jew who struck him from behind and hit him hard and cruel to rob him of his hoard. He nearly sent him back to the Lord. Of all his precious load, almost all was snatched away. Only to a pair of scissors did he hold, but they too fell into the bay. Gentile friends, do mark my words. Fortune doesn't change. Poor will remain, poor is poor. Yet poor men are the chosen of our gracious Lord. Der nach Leperine hingassen und so hin und her. Aber er zwischen der Masche, der Wanderer Schneider, 
9 de marzi, anno de grazia 1516. Ser Marcus Molinus, Ser Hieronymus Theopoulos, Ser Petrus Marcellus, Ser Franciscus Bradicari, Ser Bartolomeus Contarenus Consiliari, Ser Dominicus Trevisanus Equus Procurator, Ser Leonardus Mucenicus, Ser Zacharias Delfinius, Sapientes Consili, Ser Gaspares Maripetrus, Sapientes Terre Firme. Está provisto per diverse leggi del Consiglio e dei pregadi del Maggior Consiglio 
che i giudei non possono stare in questa città nostra. The law, hitherto approved, denies the Jews the right to live in our city, salvo che giorni 15 interpolati in tutto il tempo dell'anno. Sostaezzi han posti diversi altri ordini cattolici et necessari per ovviar alla perfidia ebraica, che per essere a tutti noti superfluo è commemorarli. Unde, ancorché per la necessità e urgentissima condizione di tempi, but for the urgent condition of these times, si sta permesso, it is allowed, che i prefatti giudei si riducino ad abitar in Venezia. Amen. Non di essere de voler di alcun del Stato nostro che desidera vivere con timor de Dio, che da poi redutti siano andati spargendosi per tutta la terra, stando in case con cristiani et vadino, giorno e notte dove li piace, come offensione gravissima della maestà divina, et non vulgar nota di questa ben istituita repubblica. E dunque, gli Zudei are ordered to live all together around the courtyard found in Ghetto, appresso San Hieronimo, and in order that they do not wander about all night, it has been decided that on the little bridge on the side of the ghetto and similarly at the bridge on the other side, two gates should be constructed, one for each of the named locations. The said gates shall open in the morning al suono della marangona and in the evening should be shut at midnight by four Christian custodi to be paid by the Jews themselves as our committee shall see fit their wages to be. Departe, hey! 130. The non, hey! 44. Non sinceri and sure. 8, 8. Approvado dal maggior consiglio.
più brutta sai da me ne che ne chiara Unite pene da stringite, unite pene da stringite Ola, 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 mentre go lasciata Great Rabbi Leone Modena writes. During the month of Kislev, 5375, my son, Mordechai, may his memory be for a blessing, began studying the art of alchemy with a great master the priest, Giuseppe Grillo. He applied himself so diligently and became so adept at its practices that even the most esteemed and seasoned experts of the art were amazed at how someone so young could be so knowledgeable. During the month of Yar, he set up entirely by his own hand a workshop in the Ghetto Vecchio. His first experiment was one he had carried out at the priest's house many times using nine ounces of lead and one of silver. He was able to produce ten ounces of pure silver. I observed his actions and controlled the results. The process worked, <laughs> even if it did call for a great deal of exertion and a strain and a waiting period of two and a half months. I was able to sell the final product for six and a half lire per ounce, and according to our calculations, our earnings could reach upwards. 1,000 ducats a year. These were not vain reveries. Having consumed much of my life in alchemic pursuits, I would have certainly detected any flaw in the result. And so it would have been if Mordechai, may his memory be for a blessing, if Mordechai's mouth had not filled up with blood during the Sukkot celebrations of 5376. It was said it was the vapors of arsenic and salt, both necessary for the production of silver, that somehow damaged his head, forcing him to abandon such arts forever. And so it went on two years with 
Mordechai, may his memory be for a blessing, giving up alchemy altogether, limiting himself to light activities until death did come.
Oh, 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 oh. 